So as a continuation of the reporting, let's move on to the classification of bars. Bars can be classified in a different various way. It may provide all the basis of its function, architectural concept, themes, interior, and ambience. Patronizing clientele, key beverage served, location, payment of drinks, NC2, entertainment offer, etc. However, noteworthy is the certain type of the bar may be fit more than one classification. Kaya hindi lahat ng bars ay magkakatulad. So, we classify the bars in different various way. On the basis of functions, bars may be classified into front bars, service bars, back of the house service bars, front of the house service bars, special function bars, and for special function bars, there are two kinds, the portable bars, crash bars. And lastly, but not the least, is the mini bar. Front bars. These are also called public bars. They are situated in the front of the house and are characterized by barman guest contact, facilitating maximum interaction. Here, bartenders serve the public face-to-face, -face and some guests are seated and serve at the bar's counter itself while others purchase drink at the bar's counter and consume standing or carry them to the table provided. Basic front bars offer adequate bar skills, beverage list, comfort, decor, and ambience. It gets upmarket, stylish, and more lavish focused and other expensive as it involves into lunch bars and cocktail bars. Front bars may or may not provide inter- On the basis function, sabi dito, ang front bars daw ay yung type ng bar na kung saan nakakasalamuha ng bartenders ang mga guests and the guest can order or can be seated at, at the front of the bartenders. Next is the service bar. These are also called dispense bar. Here, Bartender do not serve the public directly but pour drinks that are picked up by the server and delivered to the customers and div at different locations like guest room, a table in the restaurant, or poolside deck chair. In short, it fills drink or brought by waiter and waitresses only. Generally, in such bars, a single pouring station is enough to handle the volume. Also, guests have no access to serv service bars and hence are characterized by absence of warm and guest interaction. However, service bar needs the same photo and its planning has the same functions, uses the same equipment and perform the same task of recording and controlling the pouring and selling of drinks as any other bar. Sa service bar, hindi na mismo yung bartender ang nagbibigay or nagserve mismo directly sa guest ng drinks. Kundi, it's ready for pick up by the server and deliver to the customers. Pero kahit ganun na, ang service bar na po-provide pa rin naman niya yung kailangan gawin uh, tulad ng sa front bar na it uses the same equipment and performance and the same task for the selling and pouring of the drinks like any other bars. Back of the house service bar. As the name suggests, these are located behind the scene and hence hidden from the guest view. They are smaller and simpler design. Back bar such as Bars have a room for bulk supplies of beers, mixes, liquor, stock, and has no display. This bars does not require the hiding of ugly and noisy equipments and mechanical dispensing systems. Are often used to increase speed and reduce liquor loss. These bars act as centralized bar dispensing drink and various guest service areas like various kind of outlets, guest room, 
poolside, etc. And the centrally located and the hotel, it does away with the problem of having separate bar thus maximizing the service area of various outlets. So, tinawag po siyang back of the house service bar sapagkat hindi na po ito nakikita ng mga guest. Then, in this type of service bar, uh, mas napapadali at dami po yung gawang drinks and reduce liquor costs. So, it consists centralized na uh, nagdi-dispense ng drink in a various service like outlets, guest room, poolside, etc. Dun ma mas madalas dinadala yung mga ginawang drinks from the back of the house is bar. Front of the house service bar. As the name suggests, these bars are in the full view of the guests but used only for dispensing beverage to the servers against guest orders. These bars are less useful, are generally found in conjunction with full service and a part of the dining room. This bar must harmonize well with the overall ambience and due to should be given to its layouts, design, and decor of for efficiency and economy of service. The emphasis is more on functional ambience and it's not lavishly equipped as a full-scale public or cocktail bars. Next is the special function bars. As the name suggests, these bars are used for beverage sales and service at functions like banquets, meeting, reception, conference, or convention. It can also be used in recreation areas like golf courts and tennis courts, open garden and poolside, or anywhere else in the hotel. It has two basic types, the portable bars and the crash bars. The portable bars, it takes the form of mobile trolley built to a specification these mobile trolley are parked in the suitable area when not in use. Next is the crash bars. These are the market ship arrangement of trestle tables, a horizontal table held by two pairs of collapsible that save space within store, nested together and dressed up to create a low and open bars counter. Crash bars are very versatile because it can be arranged in different shape and size and also can be made to harmonize with the decor and ambience of the function. After the function is over, this table is dismantled and is stuck away. So, ang kagandahan po sa special function bars ay removable and suitable for any kind of area. Then after its function, pwede mo na siyang tanggalin. Yun po yung kagandaan sa kanya na kahit saan mo siya ilagay and any kind of events, babagay at babagay po siya kasi sa yung mismong pag-arrange na po ng function bars na yun ay yun na din po yung mag-a-adjust dun sa motif, tura, or sa klase ng event na yun. So the next one is the mini bars. They are also called as in-house bar or honor bars. It is relatively new concept and consists of refrigerated cabinet place in guest room along with a menu rate list for consumption by room guests. Thus, these bars are main means of visual merchandising to boost beverage sales by this option. The guests can enjoy the drink and the privacy of the room. Generally, miniature single serve bottle of liquor, pint of beer, and cans of soft drinks stuck in such bars due to space paint. However, the exact contains are a matter of hotel policy. Assorted snacks like nuts, crisps, etc. are also kept to make experience more complete. 
the guest account is charged based on the consumption manually or electronically. Billing and refilling are usually done once a day for stayover guests and on checkout for departing guests. Mini bar responsibility lies with a separate F&B teams is appended to the room service department and work 24 hours. So, ang mini bars ay mas kilala bilang in-house bars or honor bars na makikita sa mga guest rooms along with the menu, come rate list, and mga nakalagay ng mga beverages, alcohol, soft drinks ay for consumption. And kung magbabawas man ang mga guests doon sa mga beverages or alcoholic drinks na nakalagay doon sa mini bar na yon ay it will be an additional billing for them and charge to their account so let's move forward on the basis of architectural concert teams interior and ambience the bar can be classified into cocktail lounge sunken bars tiki bars and pubs the cocktail lounge are more comfortably furnished, more luxurious in ambience, and more expensive than public bars. Thus, it is an enhanced version of public bars. Seating includes armrests of sofas, couches, and coffee tables are spaciously laid out. The ambience is particularly relaxing with enhanced elegant style. Entertainment may be in the form of live music like guitarists, pianists, etc. And some cocktail lounge may be themed. Such bars have a comprehensive beverage list and also serve complimentary snack with drinks. Guests use this lounge for a sundowner in the evening or for a tip before proceeding to an in-house restaurant for dinner. Overcrowding Stand up, consumption, and very high turnover are not encouraged in this bar. Sometimes there may be a cocktail lounge on privileged floor for the exclusive use of guests staying on this floor. So, ang cocktail lounge ay mas halata naman na mas mahal sa ibang types of bars sa pagkatalaga furnished ang mga design themes architectural structures then mas expensive lang kaso siya sa other but very recommended if gusto mo talaga ma-enjoy yung uh, experience sa isang bar so next is sunken bars as the name suggests, these bars are sunk or immersed and surrounded by water on all sides. It is built in the middle of the swimming pool. These bars are usually found in resort hotels where guests spend a lot of time and are around the pool. Here, guests swim to the bars to collect drinks and consume seating at the immersed bar, stools, or on air floats. So, ito yung klase ng bars na nakikita natin minsan sa mga pool in the hotels na doon na mismo nagkukuha ng mga drinks yung mga guests. And it's very accommodating kasi hindi na kailangan ng guest pumunta or to lumayo pa para lang kumuha ng drinks, kundi doon na mismo katabi or sa loob sa gitna ng pool yung drinks nila. Tiki Bars As the name suggests, these bars are themed on the tiki culture, a South Seas inspired by pop culture in the United States. This culture was at its height of 1950s and 60s and is enjoying a revival nowadays. Tiki bars are generally made of bamboos, canes, straw mats, etc. and decorated with tropical flowers including orchids, fruits, etc. 
They dispense rum, base cocktails, and mixed drinks such as zombies and planter punch, etc. So yung tiki bars ay isang klase ng theme bars na derive from tiki culture of the United States na makikita natin na uh, very native yung design ng klase ng bar na to. Uh, some, some bars in, here in the Philippines, makikita rin natin yung pagka-adapt dun sa kind of this bar like in the Boracay. May mga iilang bars do na style ng tiki bars. Pubs are also referred as to dive neighborhood bar in America. It is contracted form of a public house, a licensed house for sale and consumption of alcohol drinks on or off the premises. These are small outlets pretty much like local places at the commerce. Very basic, nothing fantastic or special and generally run of the meal bars. They dispense common beer, standard spirits, and wines. Ito yung mga makikita naman sa cities or any kind of uh, outlets. Like, makiki para siyang 7-11 pero pagpasok mo, pa para lang siya lahat ng ma ma-avail mo sa outlet na yon ay lahat beverages. Then, you can stay for a period of time parang ganun to relax and to consume the alcohol drinks so let's move to the basis of patronizing clientele bars can be classified into meat bars lady bars gay lesbian bars Meat bars are also called single bars. They are patronizing by individuals looking for a new friend of the opposite sex for a date to a complete relationship. These individuals stay long enough to meet someone they'd like to spend the evening with and then move on to a suitable place for food, entertainment, and leisurely evening together. So, ito yung mga commonly bars na makikita natin na magkakahalo yung lalaki at babae looking for someone parang ganun, friends then mag, or dun madalas nagbimit up yung mga hindi pa nagkikita in person ito yung pinaka suggested bar for them ladies bars as the name suggests these bar are patronized by member of female sex only permanently opposed to the bars having occasional ladies night and tends to be psychological safer. Men are such strictly not allowed in this bar. They are generally dispensed ladies drink like cocktails, gin, vodka, wines, etc. They are popular as the female feel secure as opposed to irregular male dominated bars. However, too many ladies' bars are not likely to succeed in the single area. So, ito naman po yung klase ng bars na may specific lang na gender na makikita ka sa loob, which is ladies only. Uh, ito kasi yung pinaka-iniingatan nila yung mga pagiging secured, then enjoy by ladies' night only, parang ganun po. So, lastly but not the least is the gay and lesbian bars. As the name suggests, these bars are patronized by gay individuals looking out for a partner. On the other hand, the ladies' bars doubles up as a lesbian's bar also. Um, dito naman po sa gay and lesbian bars, makikita naman po dito yung mga part ng part and member of LGBT which is looking for a partner uh, company relationship parang ganun then magkahalo po dito yung babae at lalaki which is gay and lesbian but on the other hand sabi nga po 
yung ladies only bars nakakapasok din po doon yung mga lesbians na babae because they are lady they are considered as lady then ayun pwede po pumasok yung lesbian girl sa ladies bars That's my report all about. Thank you for your listening. The next reporter will be proceeded.